To pull a browser source into OBS, you just go down to the sources box right down here, and then you'll see that plus button. You cannot drag a browser source into OBS, and by browser source, I mean Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Edge, whatever the browser you're using, you cannot drag and drop these sources into OBS's Canvas. It won't work. I'm gonna show you three examples today. One will be a static website, the next one will be a social media feed, and the last one will be a video. I bet you didn't know you could do all that using browser source, it's pretty sick. So click browser right here after you hit the plus button, name it whatever you wanna name it, I'll just leave it as browser for now. Then you go ahead and copy the URL of whatever that browser source is, paste it here. But here is an important step. You're going to want to input the width and height. I recommend inputting whatever the base resolution is on your desktop. Mine is 1920 by 1080. This will just allow you to pull in the full resolution and all of the content of that website when you hit OK right now. OK, and boom, it pulls in the browser. Pretty cool. You wanna see what the original source looks like? This is what it looks like. It's this website. It's my gamingcreatorgear.com website where you can download my ebook. It pulls it in just directly, just as a browser source, nice and clean. Now, as you can see, this is gigantic. There's a bunch of extra content I might not want to show here. So you can hit Alt on Windows. And you can drag the bottom, Alt, drag the left, Alt, drag the top, Alt, drag the right, and you can size this any way you'd like. And then you can put this website in the corner down here. You can resize it as you see fit, etc. You can resize browser sources very handily any way you would like, which is really cool. There's also another way to transform browser sources by right clicking them and then going down to transform right here. And you can go to edit transform and you can crop it any way you want. You can position it any way you want. You can just input the numbers here if you don't want to use your mouse to drag and drop and resize a browser source. But here is the coolest thing about browser sources in OBS. What you'll do is you go down to the browser source down here in sources, right click, and then click interact. This is sick, check this out. Now in OBS, this is not in Google Chrome, this is not in Safari, this is not in Firefox, it's right here in OBS. You can interact with the actual website itself in OBS, it's totally sick. So check this out. If I wanted to download this ebook live on my live stream, I could do this within OBS and I can click this button and as you can see, it'll actually interact with the browser right here within OBS. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, when I interacted with it, it resized the source. So if we want to, we can reset the transform and it'll show the entire source on the screen once we interact. And when we're done interacting, we can just close this and look, the website's right here on the screen for us to show our audiences. Let's say we wanted to interact with this and I wanted to scroll down and show everybody the entire website. I can interact through OBS, check it out. Through this interaction window, it actually interacts with the browser source live right here in OBS. Pretty amazing, right? Now, most streamers are going to be using something like a window capture or a display capture to show a website. As you can see, pulling a browser source is completely superior because of the interact feature where you can interact with the browser source directly in OBS without having to have a browser open at all on your computer. It's all consolidated right here within the software. Use browser sources, friends. It's so powerful. We got rid of that static website and now let's pull in a social media feed, right? Plus button right here, same as before. Then go ahead and go up to browser source. Then we'll go ahead and grab the input, which is going to be the URL. You copy that, you paste it right here. And as before, input your resolution, 1920 by 1080. There you go. And then hit OK. Boom, there's my Twitter feed. Ever wanted to show your Twitter feed to your audience in a nice clean way? This is a way to do it. Want to do so in a way where you don't have to pull Twitter open in a Google Chrome tab and be fumbling around with it on the other monitor? This is a way to do it. You right click right here, you hit interact, and now you can interact with your Twitter feed. You could log in if you wanted to. You can scroll down. You could show just one particular tweet if you wanted to during your stream. Let's say I just wanted to show this tweet on screen to my audience, like I showed you earlier. You can crop in that tweet just like this, using the browser source, 
without having to have another window open right here in OBS. And you could put that tweet right over here in the corner. You can make it half of the screen. You can resize it as you see fit. As you can see, this is very, very dynamic. So let's go ahead and add a browser source that is more complex, like a video. Plus button under sources, go to browser, click. Same as before, guys. You guys know the program. This time, though, we're going to go to something like YouTube. We're going to copy the link address to a YouTube video or whatever video you want to put in here. Then we put that right here in the URL spot. You know the drill with width. Add your desktop resolution right here just to make sure we get everything. But here's the unique part. Pay attention right now. You can control the audio of that browser source using OBS. If you check this button, check this out. Click that, hit OK, and watch what happens. It pulls the audio down here under your audio mixer from this browser source. So it's pulling both the video from the browser source and the audio from the browser source all in OBS, which is amazing. You can control the audio here in OBS, turn that volume down, make it whatever you want. You can mute it, you can add effects to it, and you can interact with it. So if this was playing an ad, as you can see, there's an ad right there, it's pesky. Go ahead and interact, turn that ad off. Perfect, here you go, here you are with your, with your video. Think about the possibilities, creators. Let me inspire you. Crop this out. This could be a video that you're reacting to in OBS. Go ahead and crop it down. Crop it like this. Maybe you're, in it. Maybe you're reacting to a trailer or something on your live stream or you're wanting to review a piece of content. Okay, crop it out, put it in the corner like this. Go ahead, add your webcam down here. All of a sudden you're recording a live reaction video from a browser source. Pretty sick, huh? You could add a social media feed right here to see how the hashtag for this video is trending. Let's say it's about a trending thing. And then you could put another browser source down here, which is live comments from all of your fans. Browser sources allow for unlimited flexibility and allow you to have unlimited creativity. If you can pull it up in Google Chrome or some browser, then it's you can crop it and you can configure it however you'd like in OBS and the possibilities are limitless.